Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's vlog, we will be talking about the trouble that we are facing into our main engine control system. As you can see, we are only having around 12 kilo ohms into one of our control system, which is causing an earth fault. This is a very critical alarm for our main engine as it may cause a slowdown or shutdown if we cannot find it immediately. So come and join me in this new learning. Locating the earth fault in this kind of main engine is very important as it may cause shutdown to our main engine. In order for you to understand it further, I am going to give you a quick familiarization into this kind of engine. It is a massive engine which is almost a 4-story building. It has 12 cylinders with a maximum of 94 RPM and it can draw a power of 68,640 kW and it is a Hyundai MAN BMW built. And this main engine can carry around 10,000 20 foot equivalent unit of containers. Which means that it should always be in good condition to deliver this billion dollars worth of containers. But for today, we are facing this trouble into one of the multi-purpose controller which may cause or lead into a main engine shutdown if we cannot find it immediately. Since it is a massive engine, then vibrations and fuel leaks may lead into uh, deteriorations of each wirings and in return, it will cause this earth fault. But the challenges in fixing this kind of trouble is because of when and where to start and the circumstances that it may even lead into a further trouble, especially if the main engine is running while fixing this trouble. So this main engine is being controlled by different kinds of cards depending on the application that it serves. For this kind of engine, we call them MPC or the Multi-Purpose Controller. So in a simple way, just like your car, these are the computer box. So it controls the whole engine on the liners, on the scavenge, on the fuel injections, and so on. All the vitals uh, operations of the main engines are being controlled off these cards. So this is the way how it looks like the multi-purpose controller of this kind of MAN BMW engine. And the voltage supply for these cars is 24 volts DC. That is why I said that once it cannot be fixed immediately, these cards may be affected that may cause the whole operation of the main engine. So where will you start if you have this kind of trouble? Good thing that for this kind of engine, we have this so-called main operating panel or the MOP. Which you can see the divisions or distributions of each cards in each and every cabinet. As you can see from local operating panel, ECR panel, bridge panel, auxiliaries, and all the ECUs, EICUs, ACUs, CCUs are all connected in each and every nodes. We are on the way to Peru when this trouble happened. And the main engine is running. 
As you all know that in normal 440 volts, 220 volts, 24 volts, we only need to drop off the breakers. But not in the case of this air fault on the main engine as we cannot just simply switch off or drop off the breakers for each and every multi-purpose controller. Of course, if we will do that, then it will only lead to main engine shutdown. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to check which cards or which cabinets is causing the low insulation. As you can see in the monitor, the ECUB is the one that is causing the earth fault. And the ECUB is connected into the LOP or the local operating panel. And these are the list of the vital controls of this card. I decided to make a voiceover because this is the way how this 12-cylinder main engine sounds like if it is running. After checking the distribution of the MPC, you have to ask permission to the chief engineer and inform the bridge and the captain about the certain circumstances that it may happen if you will touch the wirings of these cards. After that, I went straight to the TBLOP box. This is where the ECU A and ECU B are connected. Based on my own experiences, the main cause of the low insulation in the main engine is due to vibration. Although the cables are harnessed properly, sometimes these cable ties loosen up and then it will touch the body of the box. Just like in the case of this earth fault. I found a small cut onto the wire which is touching this cable gland. This small cut is enough to cause low insulation into our system. When earth fault occur, then the electrical system gets short-circuited. And the short-circuited current flows through the system, which is enough to damage this sensitive multi-purpose controller. So what I did, I put cable ties to these cables and secured it properly. Good thing that we found this trouble as fast as we can. In this company, it is always part of the preventive maintenance system to check the harnesses of the cables if they are still intact and the cables are not touching the body or the hull of the vessel. Now let's check in the control room in the main operating panel the condition of our system. By the way, this MOP can also be set as a guide in locating this trouble. These are the possible effects and the action that needs to be taken when you're having this kind of trouble. Which is it says here, additional insulation fault on opposite polarity can cause blown fuses or short circuits. So after we fixed that harness and found that cut on the cable, then checking the condition on our main operating panel, it says here that we're now having 500 kilo ohms on to ECUB. The alarm was cleared and the system is now back to its normal condition. So that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more ETO updates. Thank you.